Now, since I was a kid, I've been driving bulldozers and Caterpillar has been the standard by which we judge all other dozers. But recently, I've had operators telling me you've got to try this new Komatsu D71. And I mean, this is coming from a lot of cat operators. So here it is. So let's have a look around the machine itself. Obviously it's got a six way pat blade, as you can see. Um, she's on 900 wide tracks, sort of low ground pressure. Now the interesting thing is the cab seems to be almost in the center of the machine. And that's what gets that fantastic vision over the front. Because look, there's your engine. What you're missing is your cooling pack, your rads, because they're at the back. Now, some of you will be saying exactly what I said. Everything goes round in a circle over time. Years ago, Terex, when they were building uh, dozers, they also had the cooling packs at the back. So this way you're not getting all the dust and crap coming in at the front. And uh, you, you know, it just keeps everything nice and clean. You can see, even see here, that's not lathered in dust like a lot of radiators. Normally all this is covered in dust and this isn't. So the first thing is with the comparison, are we comparing like for like? Yeah, because this is in the same class, believe it or not, as the D6. And here's the specs. All right, let's start off with the stats for the Komatsu. Now the Komatsu weighs in at 23,200 kilograms, so 23.2 tons. And that is basically just over 51,000 pounds. As far as power goes, 240 horsepower. And now we'll look at the Cat D6. And this is a 2021 model. So the weight of the Cat D6 is 23,800 kilograms, so 23.8 tons. So it's about 600 kilograms more than the Komatsu. And that's about 52,470 pounds. Now, as far as power goes, it's 250 horsepower. That's 10 horse more than the Komatsu. So this is what we're saying about the blade on this. So even though the Cat has got more horsepower, the blade isn't as wide as it is on the Komatsu. It's probably about that much each side wider on the Komatsu. Height wise, they're about the same, but because of that, you know, rad at the front, you can't see this point here on top of the blade from in that cab, whereas you can on the Komatsu. Now, when I knew I had the Komatsu coming uh, for me to try out with the cat, I didn't want to be somewhere that was just stone or sand, something that was easily pushed about. Because as I said, I wanted to see how it would act and how it would behave once you got something to really get your blade into stuff like this and when you can get that just so curling up in front of that blade you know you're pushing so this is why we chose this place and we're cutting this reducing this height and going out over there this has been here since last winter so it's compacted us down us tight and that's an ideal location to try out a pair of dozers now a lot of you out there will be familiar with this position here sat in a cab of a cat Let's see a D6. A few years back, that's where I spent a lot of my time. But, like I said, I always welcomed the opportunity to jump on a Komatsu. And eventually when we got one, a D65, I spent a lot of time in that. And that's when I really began to appreciate the space that the Komatsu gave. Now, a lot of you operators out there are spending most of your life in the cab. Frightening when you think about it. So your cab comfort is very, very important. Now on this model, one of the things I really don't like is this box here, because I know you're sat in this position looking over there, but after a long day, you want to swap sometimes. And sometimes you do want to just have a look and you just can't see anything. I mean, whoever came up with that idea. Now I don't think anybody's going to argue that the view out of the front of a cat is the greatest because, well, well it just isn't more than adequate don't get me wrong and especially if you're on a, a standard uh, blade but when you've got a six way you've got a pat blade it really does limit your view down to those corners and what's going on especially on top you can't see anything on top of the blade that's fine if you're trimming but if you're pushing out bulk then you want to see what's going on all the way across but 
They just can't be choosers. Now the power delivery on a cat has always been great. It's a cat. The difference comes when you're now pushing in, as I am here, and loading this blade. And now you've got to just work it. Because I am pushing this. I mean, I am trying to obviously show an example. So I'm filling the blade. And the old girl's pushing, but you've got to work to keep that traction on the ground. Where with that hydrostatic transmission on the command suit, you don't. That's what's the big shock and that's what's the big surprise. So now let's go and load that blade up on that Komatsu. Now I don't know how it's coming across on camera, but here in the cab, the sound levels, they're great. It's not noisy at all. There's no resonance. Yeah, really good. And there's an absolute abundance of room in the cab. I mean, you've got your feet rest up here if you want, down here, right out to here, and I've got long legs. And where the cab is positioned, it seems like it's in the middle of the machine. So you're actually able to virtually look right on top of that blade. The bonnet's not in the way. You can see down either side. Now for the purposes of showing this dozer off, we're taking big chunks here. Normally we would just be stripping this back in nice layers, but as I said, just to show this off, we're putting through the paces a little bit. Now the engine in this Komatsu is built by Cummins, but it's not just a generic Cummins, it is built and designed specifically for Komatsu. The power that this engine delivers is absolutely faultless. And then you've got the way you can draw all that power from that engine and put it exactly where you want it under those tracks. And it doesn't want to slip or jump. It just puts the power down where it needs to be. So with the 71, Komatsu have taken dozers to the next level. This is where the standard has now been raised to. And it'll be Cat's job to now match that or try and overtake it. And that's what makes development and progression so exciting because the end users and operators are the ones that get to benefit. Look, I love cat dozers, don't get me wrong. But at the moment, as things stand here today, this Komatsu D71 is an absolute game changer. And given the choice, I'd rather be on here. Access in is nice and wide, and as I said, there's just tons of vision. But just look at that view. And I can see everything, look, right down in the corner of the blade, even underneath it, both sides. And that's where I'm sat right back in the seat. I'm not leaning forward or anything. That's where the hood ends, the bonnet, that's there. And that's the top of the blade. So you can see all of that without leaning forward or whatever. There you go. So here's your controls, uh, fairly standard, uh, you up, you down, and then when you want to uh, tilt your blade that way and that way, the corners up and down, you do it that way and that, and then when you want to pitch the blade, angle it, you do it on here. And to be honest, that's where I prefer the Caterpillar. I think their way of doing it is much nicer. Forward and reverse transmission and steering is all on here. So you've got your buttons for up and down, and you can press a button on here, and then that just becomes infinite. There's no actual sort of stepped gears. It's just the more you push it, the quicker it goes. That's a nice feature. But same thing here, you've got uh, forward, neutral, reverse, and then you just steer it left and right on there. 
that's where I think they could improve this with the forward and reverse. I think that, like the cat, could be on a rock switch, but even better than that, um, just on a nice sort of forward and reverse thumb roll here. Now, I've always liked the controls on a cat, especially these later ones. So you can raise your blade there, like that, obviously down like that. And then you've got the tilt mechanism uh, on there, so you can do it that way and that way, same as the Komatsu. But here's the difference, rather than that toggle that's on the Komatsu, when you want to angle your blade, you just do it on there. And I like that. As far as steering and transmission goes, you obviously steer it here with this tiller, and I quite like this tiller. Here we go, look. That's quite good, I like that. Uh, as far as transmission goes, forward and reverse is on uh, on a rocker there, like that, and like that. And then you've got your speed controller here. So you can do it in like half increments or just click through like that. This bit, the forward and reverse, I know we've all got used to it, but I half wonder if it was the other way, forward and reverse was like that, if it wouldn't be a little bit easier. But there we go, it's something you just get used to, isn't it? But yeah, I, I do like the cat controls, and they're, you know, they're balanced, and, and the weight, the feel of them is good. They're not sort of heavy or clunky. As I said, it's just like that. Now, the aim of this video is to show the, the proper operators and owners what's out there. You know, there's been guys that have been around the block, and they've seen one or two different bits of kit in their time, and there's some up-and-coming operators as well that are interested in what else is available. And you're going to get some people that say, oh, well, they'll be paying you to say that. Look, I've been given a cat. I've been given a Komatsu to try because I want it. Everyone's been telling me, try this Komatsu. So I am done. And I'm telling you what I think and what I feel. Now, like I always say, I'm not telling you to go out and buy the latest bit of kit, but what I will tell you is that next time you're in the uh, marketplace for a dozer, go and give one of these a try. So there we are, Marcus, another one. That was something, probably one of the most enjoyable videos I've made. I did not expect that much of a difference between a machine. I've never seen that much of a, a leap forward in just well technology really just having that hydrostatic transmission because I, I i asked it i said well what that's gonna make that much difference is it just maybe a bit smoother on how that puts that power down to the ground and allows you to push is a game changer combined with that cab and all that vision by having such a little short power pack on the front there with that engine without all the rad at the front one of the most enjoyable videos i think i've had 
uh, in my all time doing YouTube, um, yeah, was, was this Komatsu. So there we are, muckers. Until the next one, do well.